Hey everybody, today we're going to be talking about rate of change and slope. This is chapter 5 and it is lesson 1. Rate of change. Rate of change is the relationship between two changing quantities. When one quantity depends on the other, the following is true. Rate of change equals the change in the dependent variable and the change in the independent variable. Problem type number one, finding rate of change using a table. Here's a marching band problem. The table shows the distance a band marches over time. Is the rate of change in distance with respect to time constant? What does the rate of change represent? Let me grab my pencil here so I can do the math for you. First of all, my independent variable is the 1. What happens when I put in the 1? Out comes 260 feet of distance that the marching band has traveled. After two minutes that I put into my function, 520 feet come out from the marching band. After three minutes, they've gone 780 feet. After four minutes, they've gone 1,040 feet. So the real question here is, is this a constant rate or is the marching band getting faster and slowing down as they go? Well, let's use a calculator. Mm, well, actually, I can probably just do this by hand. 260 plus 200 and plus 520. Is that 200? Sorry, is there 260 feet between 260 and 520? The answer is yes. Is there 260 feet between 520 and 780? Yes, it looks like it is 260 feet per minute. Let's see if it stays true for the, for the third minute and fourth minute. Is there 260 feet between 780 and 1,040? Yes. All right, so it is constant. The word is yes. Now, if it is constant, then I need to say what it's changing by. What does the rate of change represent? The rate of change is first 260 for every minute. So the rate of change represents 260 per minute. Make sense? All right, the second problem type involves slope. Slope is a special rate of change represented in graph form. The slope equals the vertical change over the horizontal change, the rise over the run. Problem type number two, finding a slope using a graph. For every minute, 260. It's the same graph. Do you remember? The same table, excuse me. Well, if we were to graph it, then this is what it would look like. For 200, so if I put 260 right here at minute number one, then I've got 200, then I've got 520 right here at minute number two. I can actually figure out that I've gone one, sorry, the rise is I've gone up 260, and the run is I've gone over just one. Up 260, the run is just one. It's that same thing again. Up 260 again, and over just one. The rise, sorry, the rise and the run. I keep going back and forth. All right, so then I would write that, that uh, fraction this way. 
Let's try these examples. So, looks like I've been given a point that is 2 and negative 1. Sorry, x value is negative 2, y value is negative 1. Next point is 1 and 1. So, my rise is 1, 2, and my run is 1, 2, 3. My rise is 2. My run is 1, 2, 3. Let's try this one over here. Looks like my rise going up and down is it's weird how they how the this line is missing. Um, it's, it's because they're only showing negative 4 to negative 3. But this would be right here if it was showing at all. It would go 1, 2, 3, 4. F my rise is negative 4 because it's going down negative 4. And my run is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. All right, that is rate of change, y'all. We're going to go ahead and do some practice together, um, and then I'm going to send you on your own to work on it uh, by yourself.